girls, Kaylee here. Today I'm doing a tutorial on this braided headband that helps to pull your hair back and out of your face. I got a lot of requests for a French braided headband, and you can do this with a French braid, but I did it with a Dutch braid so that the braid would be 3D because I kind of like that. It kind of incorporates the kind of um, Dutch, Swedish kind of milk braid braids that uh, were trendy for a while and are still very, very wearable. Uh, but it kind of is a more fun version of that because it actually pulls your hair back and out of the face like a headband. So it's really cool. You can wear it a couple different ways. Um, this is part of what I'm trying. Um, I'm actually going to do a series of just fun, summery, braided headband or braided, not braided headbands, but braided hairstyles. And uh, so I'm going to be uploading those over the next couple days. We're going to see how we like this new format. I'll be putting it in a playlist for you guys. I thought it would be better just to have the one hairstyle. So if you want to watch the one hairstyle, you can watch it. If you don't, you don't have to kind of thing. I think it's more convenient for you guys that way. Um, we'll see. We'll see. So hopefully you guys like this tutorial. And um, I have some more fun ones coming up. I'll I might put a sneak peek at the end. Who knows? Anyway, um, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'm going to go ahead and roll it. First, you're going to part all the hair in front of your ears. This is essentially all the hair that you want in your headband, so if you want it further forward, you can do that, or further back, you can do that as well. And then once you do that, you're going to actually add another inch to one side, the side that you're going to start braiding on. Because when you start braiding, the braid's really, really small, and you kind of have to work it up to be a little bit bigger. So I like to start it just a little bit more behind my ear, so that really small bit is kind of hidden. And then I'm just going to clamp it to hold my place and put the rest of my hair in a ponytail. That makes it really a lot easier um, so that you don't end up incorporating hair you don't want in the French braid. If your hair is shorter and you can't get in a ponytail, you can just use little clips. And then bring your hair back out of the little clamp and sweep it all to the side that you're going to be braiding toward. That makes it a lot easier. And then just take that first section on the very furthest side and start to Dutch braid, incorporating only hair from the front. This first bit is the trickiest. It helps to keep your head tilted and all the hair over there, even though it looks a little silly. It really makes a world of difference, makes it a lot easier. Make sure that when you incorporate these pieces of hair, you do so loosely. You don't want it to look slicked back and tight. You want it to look loose and effortless and casual, and just fun. And I think slicking it back is really going to kind of hamper that. So additionally, if you do that on the top, you're going to look a little bit bald from the front, and that would look a little silly. So. You can see here I pulled um, a little bit out just to loosen it up because I've been pulling it too tight. You can do that as well if you notice, hey, I'm doing it too tight. You can always just pull it back out and do it a little bit more loosely. So you're going to continue that around your head. And it gets a lot easier once you get that first half done. And continue until you reach right behind your ear. And once you get to there, you're just going to braid a couple of inches normally. That way you have just a little bit of extra braid to work with. And if you accidentally drop it and some unravels, then your fridge braid isn't unraveling on you. Seal it off with a little band. And pin away any little flyaways that might happen. Especially if you have layers that might be an issue, all you have to do is use some bobby pins. Now you can go ahead and go through and fluff this out. If you have any little scalp divisions where you have like bald spots or you can see the scalp because you pulled it a little bit tightly, this is where you want to kind of fluff your hair out. It's going to help to make it more casual and effortless, but also hide any little thinning areas that you might have in that front section. Then if you want to, you can go ahead and align the braid with the hairline and pin it in place, and that's going to keep the end of the braid out of sight when you let your hair down. Now this is what it looks like once you let the hair down. You can just wear your hair down like this, it's a really cute little style. Or if you want, you can pull it over into a side ponytail. And the way that I like to style this is to pull it over into a ponytail and wrap the extra braid around the band and then pin that into place. And I think it makes it look really, really cute and fun. Or one other option, this is actually my favorite of the three, is to pull everything to the back and twist it into a bun. You can make this neat or messy or kind of a neat messy mix, whatever you want to do. Um, I think I have a tutorial on how to pin a bun if you guys need help with that, so I'll link it in the annotations and the down bar. But just pinning it in place and then you have this little look, which again, is my favorite. Anyway, that's it. I hope you guys like this. I hope you try it out. Super fun. Love you guys. See you in my next tutorial. Bye!